I had my second dose of the vaccine the other day and I feel like shit, so it's time to make something good. Here I have a jet car and a boxing glove and I'm gonna put these together. Okay, so let's have a look at the full components I have for this project. I have a boxing glove. I have a camera mount for your chest, which is gonna be useful for situating the Arduino on the chest. Got an ultrasonic sensor, I've got some wires, and I have the jet car, which has an ESC, a LiPo battery, uh, various other components which will be useful. This is a quick demonstration of how I will control the EDF. Note that I've swapped out the high power motor for a simple servo. Controlling this motor should be easy enough, but adhering it onto this glove will be difficult. It has to be able to withstand fairly large impacts and not fall off. The solution, of course, is a shit ton of duct tape. To find the optimal place to put the EDF, I need to study how boxing gloves behave on impact, because obviously I want the least movement in the fabric. So let's take a look at a punch. After reviewing that footage, it seems like the best place to put the EDF is just above the letters for Sparta, so around here. So I've stuck it on with some duct tape. Um, Duct tape doesn't adhere to the glove as well as I'd like, so I had to put a lot more on. Hopefully, uh, the motor won't go flying off, but there's no promises on that. I've now mounted the ESC and the 1500 milliamp hour battery onto the glove. Uh, I did consider, you know, mounting these higher up, so on the arm. However, I think it's better to make this a contained unit and then just feed the wires up along the arm into the chest. Okay, so I've made the jet glove and it's looking pretty good, but I need to make something to mount it onto. So that's why I'm wearing this rather ridiculous harness. This is a chest mount for a camera, and I think it's perfect for putting the Arduino on. So we take our Arduino, our very good quality Arduino, and all I need to do is stick it here. It's got LEDs on it, which will glow, and it will look really cool. I'm starting to feel a lot like Iron Man, but I feel like I could do something different to really get into the character. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'm re Um, Basically, when I made this chest mount, I forgot that I had to plug in the USB to be able to, you know, upload Arduino code. Um, so... If we take a look at this, oh my god! Ah! Okay, um, ignore what just happened then. Uh, yeah, essentially this is blocking the USB port, um, so I can't upload code. Mm, pretty bad, pretty bad. Uh, basically what I've done is I've added this knob that allows me to adjust the power of the uh, motor, which is basically all I needed to do. Um, and hopefully I can now close off that USB port and nothing bad will happen in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna do some safe tests at different power levels. I don't want to have it on my fist when I'm, you know, testing at 100% power for the first time. So this is 0% power. See, nothing happens. GG. This is about 20% power. Okay, now 50%. Holy shit. Uh, you know what, let's just do 100%. Uh. 
It's time to suit up for the next experiment. Surprisingly difficult to put this on. <clears throat> right. So, I'm suited up. I'm ready to uh, test this out. So this is at 0% power. Yep, 0% power. Let's put it, let's go 50. I can, I can, I can feel that. <laughs> Duct tape seems to have held up pretty well, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Don't put your hand in front of your chest, you idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, right. Always turn it back down to 0% after an experiment. Let's go 100%. No, I, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm not doing this again. No, 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 no. A few moments later. I mean, the camera's all blacked out, so you probably can't see me, but it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Look. The most is turned on for zero power at the moment as well, but like, I can just crank it up and... I'm scared. With the light back on, we'll get a better look at what's going on here. So, essentially what I've got is a potentiometer here. And this controls the power. So if I turn it anti-clockwise, uh, let's see, yeah. If I turn it anti-clockwise, that will turn the throttle up. And if I turn it that way, back clockwise, that will turn the throttle down. Now, I have it set to zero at the moment because I don't want to fire this motor. Um, then, I just need to put my hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor and it will trigger. I just realised that that should have been on zero. This is terrifying. You know what? I think I did it. I think I built the world's first anti-bullying device. It's not going to protect you against cyber bullies, but you know, it'll protect you in the school playground. Well, maybe not if you're in America, but... Uh, so, if it protects you from bullies, it's time to find some bullies. And here she is, target number one. Time for the next target. Three, two, one. <laughs> and my final victim. I think this turned out pretty well, but there's probably one question that you still have, and that is, how much extra force does this really supply? Because it's not a very big motor. <laughs> On this incredibly dodgy test stand, we can see that the motor reached a peak force of around 600 grams. So it's not adding anything at all, really. 